Good morning, YouTube. If you have a MicroLogix 1100, 1400, or 1500, especially the 1500, you may need to connect to it over serial. As you can see, this 1100 has an Ethernet and a serial. And this 1500 has this um, barrel type 8 pin, like mini DIN uh, serial, and it has a 9 pin. So you might be thinking, well, gee, if I have to get online with this, I'll just use this 9 pin. Well, no, you won't. That's just an expansion port, <laughs> it doesn't connect to the PLC. 1500s are 1764 bulletin. And they are generally, in my opinion, less common around me. And this one's a 24 volt version, you can see here, 24 volts. Um, the 11s and 14s I see a lot more often. And I use the Ethernet. However, if you don't have Ethernet or if this is tied up and you can't use it, whatever, uh, you might only have this as an option. This is a 1763 bulletin, okay? Today I'm gonna to show you how to go online with it using the serial uh, connection. In this uh, example, I am again using a laptop that does not have a serial COM port. So I'm using this USB to serial adapter, which is an Allen Bradley stickered adapter. Okay, so it's USB, and then there's a little module. There's the patent numbers if you're gonna to try to find this thing off brand. And there's the Allen Bradley Bulletin number, 9300 USBS. And you're gonna need a special cable. Now, somewhat annoyingly, Allen Bradley has multiple cables that look similar. Okay. Let me get that off of there. This is what the end looks like. If you look at that center pin, it's off center a little bit. That's on purpose. It is keyed. Don't smash this thing. It only goes in one way, and it doesn't go into other. To, it doesn't go into things that's not designed to go into, even if they have a similar looking pin, like a PLC two or maybe a PLC-5, they might have a similar looking pin, um, pin out, but they're not the same. Don't force things, you'll break them. The, wire, the pin out's not the same, it's not gonna work. So, you're gonna need this cable for a micro. Allen Bradley, 1761, CBL, PM02. This one happens to be Series C. It says right on it, PC to MicroLogix Com Cable, <laughs> okay. You do need this cable. Uh, if you had a COM port on a, on a PC or a laptop, this would be sufficient. I'm gonna use this for this demonstration. Um, I'm gonna use some, some screen capture software, as you can see, I'm set up for it. And I will be walking you through setting up the serial DF1 driver, and then going in and selecting my COM port, which right now, this guy is set up on COM3. Where is he? Right here. So we're gonna see, you're gonna see me set COM3. You're gonna see me set MicroLogix type. I'm gonna auto configure. Then I'm gonna move this to this one and I'm going to auto configure again. So you'll see all that in the screen capture. 